In this video, we'll talk about overcoming the fear of failure. Failure is simply the opportunity to begin again, this time more intelligently. Henry Ford said that. With so much talk about why good strategies fail or why certain goals are never achieved, you may think you have covered everything about unaccomplished goals. However, the biggest hurdle that stops people from pursuing their goals is the fear of failure. Having said that, failing to achieve goals does not mean that you failed. It only implies that something may be wrong with your strategy and that you need to tweak it a bit. All you need to do is change your approach and change the way you do things. The fear of failure can easily undermine your own efforts to avoid the possibility of a larger failure, immobilizing you and causing you to do nothing. This way, your vision never gets translated into execution. For some, the fear of failure can present such a powerful threat that their impulse to avoid failure exceeds their incentive to succeed. What is failure? Everyone has a different definition of failure given their individual benchmarks and values. It's a feeling of reluctance that stops a person from trying new things or getting involved in challenging projects. In terms of setting goals and following through, fear of failure can sabotage all efforts. It can lead to procrastination, excessive anxiety, or even perfectionism where you are only willing to try those things that you know will finish perfectly and successfully. It's almost impossible to go through life without experiencing some kind of failure, but it's up to you how you choose to see your failure. Those who give up never follow their goals, but others who view it as a learning experience pick up the pieces and proceed with getting on to their goals. Before you set any aspirations or goals for yourself, know that things may not always go as planned. But you cannot let this uncertainty stop you from taking a chance. Instead, set yourself up for success by having a great vision and then a solid plan to back it up. Some ways that you can reduce the fear of failing can include the following. Many people experience a fear of failure because they fear the unknown. This can stop you or make you uncomfortable from setting goals. It's always better to have a contingency plan that can take you through. That may mean changing your strategy slightly, but at least this way you have something to fall back on and keep moving forward. Sometimes dividing your goals into smaller milestones can help. For instance, if your goal is to return to school to pursue your degree, start off by making sure you have the requisites in hand. Take care of any upgrades you need to pursue studies. Organize your finances, check out admission dates and locations, and then go get that application form to fill out. Taking one small step at a time will help build your confidence, keeping you moving forward and prevent you from getting overwhelmed. It's important to realize that failure is about outcomes and results are not a personality trait. By now, you know that it's all about taking action. Action gives you the power to change the circumstances or the situation. If one strategy fails to produce the results, do things differently. Instead, most people stop doing anything at all. In this situation, persistence is key to achieving your goals. Instead of giving up, treat the experience as an opportunity to learn. Present yourself with questions like where you made the mistake, why it happened, how it could have been prevented, and what else could you do to achieve your goals. In essence, failure is feedback, telling you that something is not working and that you need to change it. Perhaps one of the most well-known quotes about failure and the realization for change is by Steve Jobs. Quote, getting fired from Apple was the best thing that could have ever happened to me. The heaviness of being successful was replaced by the lightness of being a beginner again. Less sure about everything. It freed me to enter one of the most creative periods of my life. To get over your fear of failing, sometimes it's just better to take a break. This does not mean that you have to give up on your goals, but simply that you redirect your focus elsewhere temporarily. The point is to clear your mind so you can see the bigger picture. Taking a break will also give you some time to think before you revisit your goal again. This time may also just give you enough compelling reason to act, so you reboot 
and restart. Take the simple example of any software in your device. All software needs updating from time to time. Once updated, you'll probably need to restart the device. Likewise, you also need to reboot and restart after having faced some kind of setback. If you feel that your goal was unrealistic in some way, don't change the goal entirely. Instead, look for a different strategy to get you to that goal. Maybe you need to extend the time frame for achieving the goal, or perhaps you need to work on a specific aspect of improving your skill set to achieve that goal. Let's refer back to an earlier example of trying to establish your blog. You may be writing great content, but may also be missing out on the marketing component. To get good readership, you need to learn how to market your blog. Reapproaching your goal, you may now want to spread the word so that other people know about your blog's existence. On an optimistic note, failure is the mother of all success. It often serves as a catapult to boost people to become successful and achieve their goals. For more free educational content, visit learnforfree.biz. Content produced and distributed by AllSuperInfo.